Hello and welcome back. In part one of this impromptu mini-series, I've been playing Le Mans 24 hours for PS1, released on some consoles as Test Drive Le Mans. Last time, I, to everyone's surprise, won the GT2 class. So what to do next? Okay. GT1 then. However, I thought moving to GT1 was just the next step up and then I'd try to win the whole thing after that with the prototype class, or LMP. However, in this game, it seems GT1 and LMP have pretty equal footing. That's because this game was released in 1999, and at the time, GT1 had just been replaced by LMP as the dominant class. In fact, the year after this, in 2000, Le Mans would see the start of the LMP Audi dominance. They would see them win 13 of the next 15 Le Mans. Anyway, enough history, time to pick a GT1 car, not knowing that I would be expected to try and win the whole Thing. Okay, so list is GT1. I mean, I've got to go for the Newcastle United car, right? Can't believe I won GT2. I'm professional. I am a professional. Rain again. Um, I'm going to stick arrow in the middle. Steering's going to go over to the slower side. Got my analog sticks on. See if we can do a better job this time around. Oh, I should have. Should have probably lowered the fuel actually. I don't need a fuel tank of fuel to qualify. Crack on and see what we can do. Oh my. F Well, that was, um, yep. Okay, so we might be fighting my way through some GT2 cars. Considering, you know, we're in GT1. Oh my word! It's not immediately apparent how, um, this is, uh, is much quicker, maybe just straight line speed. So the cornering doesn't seem that much better. Well, definitely not like that. No, it doesn't. Mm. Definitely more power, actually. The traction control really, well, the lack thereof. Span the wheels up there. I think that was worse. Fuel's fine. I mean, I'm going to go in the pits once to change tyres. What happens if I maybe, you know, just just over half? I'll top up the fuel. Strategy, because I can switch to me. I wonder if the hard tyres would get me through the whole race, the whole 24 hours. <laughs> That was a slight, slight interesting overtake. Oh, yellow flags already. I've just overtaken the yellow flag, but the French didn't see it. The marshals have not seen it. It's fine. It's okay. Right. Into the chicanes. Let's just cut through these GT2 cars as quickly as we can while they are close and, uh, and get onto some meaning. <laughs> that is the second time. <laughs> Imagine, imagine doing that first first real corner over the start finish line into a 24 hour race. So, okay, it's okay. It doesn't doesn't feel too bad. Once again, prototype car is next up the road. Let's see how things iron out from here. Ooh, okay, right, we're on the back of the LMP1 cars. So I just assumed. Ooh. Oh, um. 
Let's do less of that, actually. end of the day glare. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be the time of the, the whole 24 hours rather than the local. Oh my! Like Tiff, to be honest, uh, I'm very lucky my car is not irreparably irrepar broken. These up, right? I'm not too bothered about these LMP1 guys. Oh, damn it. Let's keep an eye on fuel as well. Because I've only half filled. It's supposed to be going quicker. Oh. I'm hoping in the pit stop get the tyres to last over the halfway point of the race. We've got a yellow flag up here. Let's not underestimate that. One of the Rook GT1s is clearly retired. Oh, we've got a slow car. Oh. Tiff, please stop saying that. I, I know what I'm doing. It's fine. Alright, it's now the time. It's not. I'm going to do one more lap. Do one more lap. Yes. Let's go over the, go over the 12 hour mark. Let's see if we can get past this guy. Wow, it's very slippy. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. I feel like that. Oh god, I should have gone in. I was hoping to give myself an easier second stint. So it would be shorter and I could push more. Oh, teammate's gone. Okay, well, 16th up to 8th, it's it's not bad. A few lights flashing, oh. Those tyres look awful as well. Oh, the rear tyres are just spinning up, we've got a car pulling over. One of the... Prototypes, I think. Oh my word. Let's get in the pits. Get in the damn pits. And he's in the pits. Uh, right, fuel. To uh, there. Tyres. Soft tyres, repair the damage, done. Oh, whoa! That threw me out at some speed and in a slide. That was a bit, um, a bit much. Okay, let's see where we are. Currently in no man's land, but with a fresh, fresh everything, fuel to the end of the race, tyres to the end of the race, we're over the halfway part, halfway point. Words really do fail me sometimes, and not in like a dramatic way, just a stupid way. Repairs have been done anyway as well, so we are we're okay. We're in a good, good position. I 
I must admit. Oh, that was littering, <laughs> littering the Le Mans circuit. You know what? I obviously it's aged, but I really appreciate all those little environmental effects they've tried to put in to, you know, really, really sell the whole, you know, the toughness of the endurance racing, the changing time. I think mean, it's. I think I love this. This is great. I actually have more admiration for this game now than I did when I was younger. My memory of it was it was a bit pants, <laughs> but I'm actually genuinely enjoying this. Also because I'm not awful at it. I mean qualifying has been awful, but so far in the race, not bad. And we are up to fifth at the minute. We are not a million miles away from fourth place. This is not a bad effort, I don't think. Ooh, slidey. Oh, he's... Is he retiring or is he just slow at the exit? Oh, come on, not far away from third. Is this going to be the final lap, though? Time is, is ticking away. Oh, my... Was erratic to say the least. Okay, so the third. This is gap to the Nissan Motorsports car. Are we going to get across the line before the 24 hours are up to maybe have a shot at second? We're over. We're going to get one more lap out of it. One kilometer behind. I don't feel like we can reel that in over the course of one lap. Oh dear. So this is our final lap. I mean, we've cut his lead in half. That's not too bad at all. Well, it's like a back marker. Our former team. The Marcos. And that's the Nissan. Oh my word. Is that both of them? Oh my god, that's both of them. Oh no, it's not both of them. I thought it was. Oh, ah, no, mate. Why are you still down? What? I understand it's a back marker, but what were you doing? What? I don't know how to do that. Right, okay. Get, get out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Final chicanes. We're going to take second. Knew I should have called this channel Recovery Drive. What a... What a hero. Newcastle United emblazoned list of cars. Second overall in Lamar. Look at that. Split the Nissan Motorsports cars ahead of the prototypes. Well, now I know that the expectation in GT1 is to win it, like win it all. I want to win it all. <laughs> However, I've decided I'm going to be a completionist. So the next time you see me in this game, we are going to be in the prototype class to see if we can win that first. And then we'll return to GT1 to try and win the whole of Le Mans. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to be doing lots more individual game-based videos, as well as my big series as we'll return to F1 1995 as well. Um, if you enjoyed it, drop me a like, maybe a little subscribe, cheeky comment if you've uh, got anything to say about my abilities or lack thereof, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.